Demolition notices are still flying around um, Lagos State. Just recently, uh, the Mende area of Maryland felt the sting. Now, the Lagos State Commissioner for Physical Planning and Urban Development says many more people who today pride themselves as landlords in Lagos, particularly those who have built their homes in the Bejuleki and the Ekpe areas of the state, risk becoming tenants, as the state government has said about 80% of the buildings in that corridor are unapproved. Well, joining us now is Dr. Oyeleke Ajiboye, CEO of Efficacy Construction, joining us right here in the studio. Uh, great to have you on the program. Thank you. Yeah, so quite a, <laughs> quite a threat there <laughs> for that uh, corridor this time. And um, I, I remember the story of the lady that... Um, her, her family, you know, built their house mm -hmm, in, mm -hmm. say, February. Yes, and, they, they purchased the house. They purchased the house, actually, mm -hmm. in February, and uh, they got that demolition um, notice. But let's, let's listen to um, what she had to say. We bought that property in February. In February. I've only been here for two months. <laughs> for two months. <laughs> for two months. <laughs> All the hard work, all the sleepless nights, everything. <laughs> if you're in Lagos, <laughs> You don't have what properties in it, you are cost. <laughs> you don't have much properties in it, you are cost. <laughs> Each time my son see me crying, he will always ask me why I'm crying. Mommy, you've been crying. How do I explain to our son? How? What do I tell my children? I'm trying so hard to be a strong woman. But this is very painful. I don't even wish anybody to pain like this. I don't wish anybody to work so hard, so tireless. And face something like this. I don't. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we've seen, you know, some other people um, mm -hmm. also, you know, have this uh, reaction. And it's, it's quite painful, you know. Uh, one day you're celebrating, you know, becoming a landlord. Um, then the next yeah. thing you find out that um, that property is it's no gone. longer yours. It's gone. So break it down for me. Because a, a, a lawyer I spoke to said there's no way you will construct a house in Lagos and you would not be approached, you know, to get some kind of, you know, approval, you know, and at some point. So break it down for me. You're a developer. What's the process here, you know, okay. in getting a building permit? Yes, this... This demolition um, happening is a very emotional topic at the moment and a very sad one. And, and I think to a large extent, people are falling victim because of what is happening in our society. There is, there is a lot of compromise that people are doing now. I feel sad for the, for the lady in that video we just watched. So um, somebody could have sold a land that you know that is a right of way and built on it. And um, you know, the way Lagos State works, so when you talk about the three kind of demolition that is happening at the moment, we have the coastal road, which is a topic at the moment. We have the environment. And then the other kind of demolition is when you build inside a government scheme, when there's a title in contention. So if the land is, belongs to me and you build on it, then they'll put remove. Or if there's a title in contention. So for people that go and buy um, they go and build inside a government scheme and somebody sold if a land without a title to you and there's a superior title, then demolition will happen. But ordinarily, physical planning 
um, like the, what they said about 80% of Ipechuleki, there's an amnesty going on down for people that own houses that don't have a building approval. They are giving them three months. The intention is to make people to come and regularize and document their documents. But if your land has a good title and then you are building, there is no way, Lagos has a lot of foot soldiers. They will get to you. They would give you a stop work notice before they seal it. If you break the seal, they will put a seal break before they bring a demolition notice. And when they bring a demolition notice... And that's notice, construction is... Yes. Ongoing. Ongoing. That's when construction is ongoing. Okay. However, because I said we have a problem in the society, somebody else will be telling them, continue, continue, continue. Don't, don't do this. Don't do this. Now, take for instance, the person that also makes payments to government and then his approval is not yet ready and he's still building... We've had a lot of cases like that, but he has made payments. They've certified that everything is okay. They will still come because they want you to still have that approval. All the visits will more or less to stop you so that you can focus and get the approval. Ordinarily, they will not come for demolition. They will come and took the building and all that. But the demolitions that comes from Lagos State Physical Planning or, or Lapska would actually have to do with title contention. So if the title contention will start from buying the long ground, the, the wrong land, um, due diligence, manipulation, or it's not properly done. Um, God saved me, even as a developer this year, I was going to buy a document with a CFO. I've gone to allow I sent my lawyers, they got the CTC. It was at the last moment, somebody in government just said, let me see that document again. And they spotted that it was fake. So wow. for me, I've been practitioner for about 18 years. How? You almost got yes, scammed. I almost got scammed. Yeah. So now talk Talkers about the people. Time, yeah, first so time there's there's time. a lot of problem in this because real estate is there's a demand for it. So easily find people with intentions that are not sincere in it, that they want to scam me, they just want to claim out this same coastal road we are talking about. Yes, um, when they move the coastal road. What I would have expected the government to do to compensate before demolition for people that they moved the road into their property, that would have managed the emotions, the people's expectation, at least give them money. If they want to go to the village, they want to buy a new house, they want to get something better, they will be happy. They will say, don't worry, do your road, you've paid me. But when you have not said to them and you demolish, then there will be issues, especially for those that they changed the direction of going. But the coastal road, I personally have known about the coastal road since 2007. 2007, the original one. And in some places, you will see that they left it. Even some, among the less, the community, local people know that this is coastal road. They didn't build on it. They left it. However, you will also see some people also that will sell that coastal road and people will buy it as plots of land and they will build. But when it. you go, you know, do a search, you know, uh, it will show. You know, meaning that people show. don't do search. People don't do search, and sometimes also, if you, I would say that the best way to actually conduct a land search is when you give it to a lawyer. Let the lawyer do the search and write the report on his letterhead. I had a recent situation like that that a surveyor did a survey and he flew the coordinates. So let's say instead of the coordinate of where we are sitting, use the coordinate of hundred meters away. And so the buyer ignorantly went ahead to process a governor's consent, not knowing that the place the land is, the document is different from where it should be. Right. And when they now took the matter to Soviet Council, they had to mandate the Soviet to return the money to the buyer, to return all the expenses of governor's consent back. Yes, the person has made a mistake by buying the wrong land, but you as a professional, you should have discovered that this coordinate is not correct. I'm talking about, you know, doing your due diligence, due diligence uh, yes. you know, at this time. What's the rate like, you know, if you're trying to do a search at this time? Well, so I would I would use a legal firm to do my own, actually. Okay. And then they would do the search from physical. On the average, how much? On the average, charge? maybe 100,000. Ordinarily, if you're not doing up to the, maybe 30,000, some lawyers would do 30, some would do 50,000. For, for a search. I think what you even pay to legal government CTCs, I think it's less than 15,000. To get a certified true copy of the documents, then you can go to Soviet General also to conduct a search, to search the land. They will do it from their GIS. And Lagos has a very robust GIS now, so which is good. However, I'm not saying, I'm not holding brief for Lagos State to say why are they doing demolition, demolitions like this, like that. For the one in the environment, I think one of the things that I would suggest that government should do is there could be an executive order from the governor 
to say some of you that you have built close to this canal, I will do a one-time order. You will contribute for government to spend money to do the concrete of that canal. So a typical example is in Mende, that the width of the canal, I think it's about 40 meters they're talking about. So if the government meets all of them and says, see, this is it, we have this option, but we are putting a face to this conversation. Contribute money, make it a concrete channel, but you will bear the cost. Because for us, it's not in our budget. We want it to be an earth channel. We don't want it to be flooded. But once you do a concrete, it becomes permanent. Like, it becomes like how much would that kind of project cost? Well, it depends on the width. It's not going to be one person. You know, there are okay, a lot of them on that line. Right. Yes. And they would sit down, even if it comes to, okay, 50-50, government pay 50. These things can be discussed so that so it helps the investor. For, exactly. Know, the yes. But forward. you know, the government will be wary of, if I go this route, they can make it a norm. That's where it comes at a one-time executive order to say, for this place, we are doing this. And if you don't agree to terms, that is all. I've also seen video of the Com Honorable Commissioner of Environment meeting people to say that they don't even have title, they don't have building approval. When you don't have those things at all, you don't have, have a voice. But if you have a title, you have a building approval, you should be able to sit with the, the government right. should be able to sit with them and say, okay, so how do we go about and, this? And to think, you know, there's a cost of living crisis, you know, right now, inflation. You we just got inflation that number for April. That. Highest in 30 years. I exactly. Was Rentals are 100% uh, up. Yes. You know, in less than five years, you know, at this time. And, you know, some would ask, you know, the government should know that there's a cost of living there's crisis. hardship People out are there. suffering, yes. you know, at this time. And you're now turning, you know, landlords, you know, into tenants. However, you see, um, while we don't let's add sentiment to it, why there's emotion into it. So I have a typical case on my hand now. A land that is allocated to me by Lagos State Government, I paid for it. I'm working on it. And somebody comes and starts building on it. Then you didn't buy from me. I've warned you. I've told you to go to relevant authorities. Whoever has sold this land to you has scammed you. And he's not listening. And he's still piling. So a day will come, they will put remove. How? So sometimes, most of the time... Sometimes the, so people are also... The yeah, they, they, are have also a, they have, a, have an issue. They have an issue. Mm. So let's, let's... That's why I said it's, it's a deep society problem. The person that is selling a land that does not belong to them, that is selling a land that is on the right of way, that is selling a land inside a government scheme. Is that bad that you see, you see Lagos government people... Um, giving the possessions inside government schemes. And you see somebody here that is still building fresh. Where you see them demolishing and that another person is building there and doesn't have a title. Right. So uh, let's look at, you know, developers now, the yes. built environment. You know, some, mm. you know, build and sell. Do we have such properties also being demolished? Well, like the one in Maryland, I know it's done by a developer. But I, from the document I've seen online, right. they have building approval, they have CFO, they have clearances and all that. That's one the government should discuss and sit on the table. So the one the ladies bought now, I don't know whether she bought it from a developer, but also it's a society problem. There are people that are selling properties on that same coastal road that have been established before, not even the new one. So if you sold something on an old coastal road that is there, you're hoping that they will not do it. 50 years, they will not do it. So making all those kind of speculations will not work. Right. Exactly. So there so, are people so looking that are, at so, all of this mm. <laughs> right now, how do you see it impacting sentiments wow. towards investment in Lagos real estate? Massive. Everybody is afraid. So everybody will be afraid, especially when you have a title and a building approval and the government is demolishing somebody that has a similar title you have and you believe the title you have is sufficient. Then there will be fear. There'll be panic. But if they see that the people that the houses are demolished are people that, yes, you built on Coastal Road, it's been there, and it's not even because they moved it. Okay, you, you close the canal, you built there. People will understand. You don't have a tie to, you built on somebody else, and people will understand. So there has to be a lot of orientation and communication also from government to educate the people. Nobody wants to do business in real estate you this, now. You um, see getting to other states. No. I watched one yesterday in Asaba. They were demolishing houses. I was just laughing that, okay, we are talking about Lagos, but this is also happening in Asaba. So it's a culture, is an is a Nigerian thing. We should learn to do the right thing. And the guy was on video, he's building a two-story building. This is they're demolishing, they demolish something opposite him, that they said they want to use it for a school. But like, when you know a land is not meant for that use, don't buy, don't do it for that purpose. So irrespective of where you are in Nigeria, actually, if you 
buy the wrong land that has title issues, you will face similar challenges, except the person comes to the table and negotiates with you, and then you clear off. Or you buy a land that is meant for an expressway and it's in the master plan, you would also lose. So, so at the end of the day, you do your due you diligence. You do your due diligence, yes. You, you will escape diligence. demolition. You will escape for sure. Larger, for sure. For sure, but I can't say for sure alone because of what I've seen in Maryland. So in some cases also, there has to be negotiation. But when people have documents, they should be able to sit. The government should give them a, a listing here to look at them. How do we go about it? That's what I would say. So what but to a large extent, you are protected forward? by law. Right. So what, what do you think going forward at this time? Ah, what I see going forward, the real estate in Lagos is like, um, nobody wants to touch for now. But I can see that there's still demand anyway. The demand is there. The Lagos State Government, I think they have enough opening here. So I've visited a couple of them that are in these decision tables to say, can you help us look into this? Can we come up with this method? There has to be an investor's confidence to say, when you do the right thing, we will protect you. And so I think Lagos State Government is going to look at it. Lagos State is still the choice place to still invest. For me personally, uh, I can, maybe because I've lived my years in Lagos, I can easily go and get documents valid, validated, know what is meant to be. And I followed all the master plans of Lagos. Every time it's been renewed, I make sure I keep a copy to ensure that I'm protected and my clients are protected. Fantastic, because yeah. it's it's quite uh, it's quite mind uh, it's quite mind quite scary. This time, it's scary <laughs> to think that oh, finally you've uh, escaped uh, being a tenant, and the next thing mm. you're back there. But thank yeah. you so much. It's great having your perspective. Thank you. I'm so looking at Jiboy, CEO CEO of Efficacy uh, Construction. Sure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.